welcome back guys um, I was asked to do a video on theming so uh, uh, changing or modifying your theme in Linux and specifically in Debian and so Debian really isn't that much different than other uh, flavors of Linux Ubuntu Arch uh, the concepts are basically the same and I'm gonna go through a couple of uh, ways that you can change the theme of your desktop. I'm going to use Debian MX15, which has the uh, XFCE desktop. Uh, you want to pull in themes that will work on your particular desktop environment. So I'm going to use XFCE, but um, when you're pulling in themes for Mate or LXDE, just make sure that you are pulling in themes that um, have been approved or uh, have been known to work in your particular desktop environment. But let's take a look at XFCE. Now when you add themes, they end up in your appearance. So if you go to your control panel and click on appearance, you'll see a list of all of your themes. Now, as you can see, I have a ton of themes. I have set it on Bluebird uh, as a starting point. So that's where I am now. The icons are Tango. Uh, and we will go through the process <coughs> excuse me of um, installing new icons and uh, a new uh, theme so the first thing you want to know is you want to know which version of GTK you have installed so let's take a look now there is a a command that you can use and that's this here and it will tell you what versions of GTK you're running it's dpkg space uh, dash L lowercase space libgtk2 0.0-0 space lib gtk-3.3-0 um, so basically you're you're trying to find out what version of uh, gtk2 or 3 you have so <clears throat> right now when i run that command it's telling me i have gtk2.24.25 and GTK 3.14.5 so I have both GTK 2 and GTK 3 it's important to know that when you're pulling in your themes because most themes have been approved some of them for GTK 2 and 3 some for only 2 so you want to check that and so because I have GTK 2 and GTK 3 installed I can pretty much pull in anything I like now when you're going looking for themes you can go to noobs lab n o o b s l a b dot com they have a pretty good selection of themes and as you can see they're for all the various platforms So you've got a good uh, selection there, but if you want to fine tune to themes that are for your desktop, go to, in this case, xfcelook.org. Now, you can click on themes. You can click on GTK2 because you don't, I don't have GTK1, so I want to get GTK2. and I can click on most downloaded now based on the results that I see I'm going to download uh, and use as an example Prudence next generation 
So I'm going to click on that, scroll to the bottom, click on download. It downloaded the zip file into my downloads folder. I am going to minimize my browser, open my file manager, go to downloads. I see Prudence. So I'm going to right click, extract here. It's created a folder, as you can see. Inside that folder are the three versions of the theme. We are going to uh, place that folder into our themes folder. Now, there are two ways of doing it. The first method uh, that we're going to use for this demonstration would be to create a, a new themes folder in your home folder. So go to your home folder, right click, and then create a folder. You're going to call that dot themes, create. Okay, then you're going to go back to your downloads folder. You're going to double click the prudence folder and then highlight each of these folders. The th these are the three different versions of the theme. And then you're going to click copy and then you're going to go back to your home folder and paste them into the themes folder okay that's the first method and that's the method we're using today so now those three new themes are in your themes folder the other method would be to use the master themes folder, which requires root privileges. And that would involve going into file system, user, share, themes. As you can see, that's where all my current themes are located in the root folder, user, share, themes. Um, you can use either of those methods. What, which one you use is entirely up to you. I have had some issues with the other method, the one that we're using for this demonstration. And if I found that they did not work for whatever reason, I would go put them in the master themes folder. But let's take a look to see if uh, our new Prudence themes show up in our appearance. So we're going to have to log out and log back in. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys and I am back. Let's take a look at our appearance. See if those themes now show called Prudence. And I now have three Prudence themes that I can pick from. Prudence, Prudence Dark, Prudence Monochrome. Now let's take a look <clears throat> at what happens to our desktop icons and our whisker menu when we select the Prudence theme. Now as you can see the dark theme had a noticeable change and it affected our whisker menu. The monochrome also had a change and also affects our whisker menu. The main Prudence theme is a little bit different as you can see by the color mix. So I'm going to leave this Prudence theme as the theme that I am running. Now for icons you would you would use the same method except you will use your icons folder now what I'm going to do I'm gonna go in back to home you can see I've got an icons folder already there with high color icons I'm gonna add um, another icon to the mix so let's take a look at XFCE look and we will click on icons 
and we'll select an icon and we have a Fienza Cupertino Flux so let's take a look at that let's download the icon theme and that is going to go to our downloads folder now I'm going to close that out it is complete and let's go to that folder okay and it, it appears to be this folder right here so let's extract here okay and there we go you see the flux and the flux dark So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that folder, copy, go to my home folder, click on icons, paste that in. Now I have those two icons and what we're going to do is we're going to log out again, log back in and see if we have those icons available. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, welcome back guys. Let's take a look to see if we have those icons available. Go to appearance. We have Prudence theme. Icons, we have Fienza Cupertino, Flux, and Flux Dark. There is Flux, and there is Flux Dark. Okay, so we're going to leave the Flux right there highlighted. I'm going to leave the Fienza Cupertino Flux as my icons, along with Prudence. And that's only half the equation. The other half now would be to go into our, let's go to settings and go to window manager. Now let's pick our window manager configuration. And so let's see, right now it's set to arc dark, but of course we can use any one of the window manager themes that you see here. Bluebird, Graybird, Light Nimbus, the Mediterranean themes, and there is Prudence. Remember Prudence that we installed? So let's go with Prudence Dark for the window manager theme and close that out. So now if I open up a file manager I have the Fienza Cupertino icons using the Prudence theme and the Prudence Dark window manager theme. So I'm using those three components. And if I go back to the folders that I created in my home folder you can see the icons that we extracted and you can see the themes that we installed and that's all there is to theming in Debian <clears throat> you need to know what version of GTK you have and you need to know what, me what method you'd like to use whether the home folder or you can go into file system and use user share icons and themes when you download the theme and extract it remember to put the folders into the right location and then log out and log back in and that will uh, provide the theming that you prefer now, right now, I, I'm going to go back to my 
original settings so if I click on appearance uh, I am using the arc theme arc dark for icons I am using uh, let's see <clears throat> I think I'll leave the Fienza Cupertino Flux. And for my window manager, I'm going to use the Arc Duck. And that's the look that I'm going for lately. Just a plain Arc, no problems at all. So guys, that uh, is theming in Debian. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that answers your questions. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.